All right, then I guess let's get started. So hopefully, yes, as I mentioned, you enjoyed yourself over the last uh, two days. We, we did a few nice things, right? Uh, lots of good talks, uh, lots of good swag out there as well. Some stickers, uh, various different things I saw from the sponsors as well. So uh, thanks for everyone who appreciated those. Yesterday there was the yeah the the bratwurst and of course the terrace. We'll talk about that in a second. But I guess now we learned why there is a sign off. This door has always to be closed, right? Maybe uh, I just misinterpreted that one as well. I just went out around the location to get to the stage, and there is one that says "Escape Route to Never Block," and there is a sofa there. So. Um well, it's not really blocking it, right? Is it? No, you can go over the sofa. It's perfectly fine. Exactly. I'm sorry, by the way. No, that's all perfectly fine. But joke aside, we had um, a lot of volunteers helping as well. I think over 17, actually. So all the people in the blue shirt who helped you getting in, made sure that we have Mate coming in for today as well. And, of course, all the different things. So definitely thank you for those who helped on that. And also, thanks. <clears throat> and I guess also thanks to all the 19 speakers uh, who actually managed to make it here, uh, to not get delayed by flights or anything uh, else. No one, at least to my knowledge, uh, got too much excitement yesterday and didn't make it today. So uh, all of the talks actually happened, uh, which is not always the case, right? We've seen it uh, at different conferences before. So thanks again also for all the speakers uh, that put in some hard work. Let's give it up for the speakers. So, yes, uh, Broadwurst from Stern and Grill, uh, already mentioned uh, a little bit yesterday. We go into that with some feedback afterwards uh, on stuff of that we learned. Right away, yes, uh, mea culpa for the terrace that was planned differently. Um, we knew it was shared, but we didn't know that our part or percentage was zero. Um, <laughs> well, at least I wasn't told that way, but... Um, Hopefully, you still manage to get some sun uh, shine on one or the other uh, entrances. I also want to say that um, while this was not planned and we weren't super happy about it, uh, our hosts here at Kaufleuten were super, super helpful at figuring this out and accommodating us. Uh, same goes for the Mate. Uh, I, I, I know the hacker brand of Mate is Club Mate, and we would have liked to get that. Uh, we got two different brands. <laughs> I hope you liked at least one of them. Also, I think we went over budget for Mate today because we refilled three times. So... Well, I mean, it's demand, right? So if you guys want it, we listen to it. And we had a few people, yeah. What was the word? Uh, Matageddon. Um, so, yes, we don't really want to keep you on that, of course. But to help out with those additional mate, um, thankfully, we do have a few sponsors. So thanks again for our platinum sponsors, Compass Security, Fortinet, and Google. <laughs> and hopefully you took the time to talk to at least one, if not all of our nine gold sponsors uh, who had a booth out there. Uh, really kind of going beyond to actually help, not just being uh, on the sales lead uh, hunting front, but providing some nice swag, uh, some nice discussions I've seen as well. Um, it's always interesting for me when I talk with the, and sorry for that, the marketing department saying, oh yeah, we would love to sponsor uh, how many leads and kind of how many addresses are you going to share? And we say, well, probably none. Um, but we are a different kind of conference, and then you have to explain it. Um, but as you can see with the reoccurring platinum sponsors, and many of the gold sponsors have been before, once they're hooked, they actually like it. And as I mentioned, we unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on the side you are, 
had to even reject a few sponsors because we ran out of space. Uh, so thanks again. And of course, also thanks to our silver sponsors um, who were not here with the booth, but here with a few people. So maybe you ran into them as well. I think that's, yes. <laughs> All right, then uh, let's see. I don't see too many uh, still glowing armbands, which means most of you have been here yesterday uh, and it ran out of the battery already, I assume. There is one here in the front that looks very sad at this point. Yeah, some people were asking, is it a mood uh, kind of uh, band? I mean, not really, but it, it kind of levels at least my energy level from yesterday. I mean, so. yours, looks am yours looks amazing. Yeah, that's because it's my third. Um, but come on, that's supply, right? Getting to the access. Um, but the other way would, of course, be to open it and change the battery, I guess. Um, did anyone actually open it? Well, apart from you, but... Um, did anyone open it? Raise your hand. One, two in the back. Yeah, a handful. See? I told you it's going to work with those uh, Apple ID trackers because um, they're actually pretty cheap now, the, the knockoffs. Um, and getting those location data to, to kind of see where people live <laughs> is always fun. Although, I mean, yeah, some people traveled a lot. No, I mean, just kidding, don't worry. And some of you might know we don't do that. Um, Why do people keep falling for this? I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, we seriously had some questions yesterday as well, as, as in, uh, is it a tracking device? And as I mentioned, I would have gone for the electroshocking device um, if they would have lo allowed me, but I was outvoted two by one, so we didn't go for that. I, I told you, people don't want to come back to volunteer if you do that to them. Yeah, okay, okay. There, there were some reasons, I know, I know. Uh, moving on to the challenge coin or as AK, the coin with some challenge on it. So we have, in the end, about eight correct answers. I was really disappointed in the amount of bribing, as in just one came with a beer. Because um, yesterday evening, we only had two correct solutions. Um, I know it was a bit challenging. Um, I had a lot of very good, well, let's say, solution attempts coming in. Um, as I mentioned, at one o'clock, reading two random words in an email, subject line really freaked me out a little bit. Um, but what you had to do was basically just take the side with the Swiss map. And if you look at the dots around it, they're not all the same. Um, so something with that. It's not Braille, um, which would have been another kind of favorite to go for. But if you look at it, you see there's three types of things, right? So it's definitely not going to be binary, uh, at least not that directly. So people try to do decoding with kind of a third-tier system, uh, which received a lot of uh, funny but not pronounceable words, which usually is a hint that it's not the right flag for the capture. Um, so if you get that like this, well, a novice one, because it's kind of dots and stuff, could of course be to think about Morse code. And now the question is why three, right? So Maybe one of them could be a delimiter. First one, as in full ones, definitely not going to be, because otherwise it doesn't really make sense to start with four of those. If that one would be it, then you actually have six, which is not a valid Morse code. So in the end, it's basically the fifth one. That empty one is the delimiter between the kind of characters. And if you get that, you will see dot, 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 dash, dash, dot, dash which will be hacked now. And yes, I agree, there are two, which is one is here and one is over there, which you can't really see well, um, but with a little bit of guessing, as in there's not actually any good uh, other solution to it, and I would have accepted other solutions as well, uh, you may or may not have received the final answer. Um, congratulations to uh, Pascal Beer. Uh, who was the first to submit it. Uh, well done. Uh, shortly followed by Tobias Eichmann, who was actually the one which has a very nice other solution, because he, if you take two coins, place them on top of each other with the Area 41 side, you can align so that one of the holes is looking at the dot of the A, 
and then the other one is pointing to one of those icons uh, which we place. And if you rotate it, which it does nicely, um, you actually see another one. So it's kind of touchscreen Bitcoin would be those two. Uh, I definitely like that solution. Uh, I probably should have gone for that one. Um, but he figured out the Morse code as well, followed by uh, Simone and uh, Marcello. So congratulations. I'll be in contact with you to send you your prizes. But then I guess, as uh, Antoine kind of hinted, uh, aren't we all winners, right? Um, ha having just a medal here, even a gold medal. So don't feel disappointed if you haven't found it. Um, better luck next time. And Stefan, uh, kind of what happened here? That seems to be another challenge. Uh, at least that wasn't part of mine. I mean, uh, for the record, I was not involved in that. I'm just making memes sometimes. Uh, but yeah, some people seem to have had some fun with some of the systems here. Um, At least it's not Windows XP, right? Yeah. I mean, nobody would run Windows XP anymore. I think that's Windows 7. <laughs> well, slightly better, but uh, yeah. Thanks for not shutting down the venue while we're still at it. Um, much appreciated. I mean, I, I tried to kick the owner of Kaufleuten out of our backstage area today because he wasn't wearing a badge, so I think <laughs> the damage is pretty much done <laughs> at this point. <laughs> he, he took it really well, and uh, we had a nice conversation. We're good. Well, rules are rules. So... What can they do if they want to see more of those uh, black t-shirts and other crazy things, Stefan? Uh, yeah, I mean, we consider ourselves a community conference. As we already mentioned repeatedly, we're not getting paid for this. We're doing this because we have fun doing it and also because we want Zurich and Switzerland, by extension, to have an active community. And while we only do this event every second year, um, or, you know, pandemic's a bit holding, I guess, a bit less, um, we do have regular events, uh, RB on Tuesdays, which are, uh, coordinated by folks across Switzerland. Uh, the program management, so to speak, is done by our very own Tom, who has received many new business titles today, but he's also our bot coordinator. Um, so these are usually monthly. All the data is on beyondtuesday.ch, um, which, yes, I have been pointed to run still WordPress. Please don't break it. Um, but there was also a bunch of really cool other conferences in Switzerland that we have very good relationships to. Besides, Zurich is happening again this year. Woo! Yeah. Really like that. Uh, Black Alps is happening fairly soon, I think. Well, Black Alps had their uh, barbecue and kind of night event already, uh, but it's happening again as well. And of course, Insomniac, uh, SCRT had the booth outside. Uh, I hope you went by and said hi at the very least. Uh, great conference, great CTF. Uh, we endorse all of these fully, even in the years where we are not around to host you here. Absolutely. So if you need some, talk to those as well. But now, uh, to keep Adrian busy as well, let's go for the raffle. We have three vouchers that we want to, well, raffle away, I guess. Yeah. And if it's your name, then please come forward to collect it. If it's an empty one, don't even try it. Uh, we're just going to go for the next one. Well, if it's yours, uh, we're not going to take it either. No jokes, no jokes. Well, this is going to be very fun. Uh, Christian. <laughs> no last name. <laughs> okay, okay, let's try this. Raise your hand if you are named Christian. <laughs> so there's a few. So now what's the challenge question? So what would you say, uh, how did you like the size of the conference? <laughs> huh? Okay. Do you really like PowerPoint karaoke? Yeah. Okay, give him the damn voucher. Okay, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice one. Yeah.
He didn't even try. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one is easier. Uh, Niccolo Fonari. Fonari? Presence, Still went home. Here. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I'm not sure. We're, we're, please, look up. We're, we're not endorsing critters. Uh, critters. Um, let's see. Any last names? No last name. Trying to figure out if we can like, get that. The RFU, yeah. How many Eric's do we have? <laughs> <laughs> I only see one, so if, if there's no contenders, we're just going to go and give it away. <laughs> All right. Eric, looks like you're unique like everyone else. Thank you. <laughs> And last but not least, I think this one is an easier one. Yes, we have Raphael Tyler. And he's in the room. Perfect. So congratulations for the three which received the voucher for the online shop. Um, but of course, thank you as well. We really do appreciate the feedback. And yes, we do read it. Uh, so it's not going to be just the three that we took. And the rest is going to get some nice uh, barbecue grilling. We take feedback definitely uh, serious. Um, as we saw with some of the uh, food, let's say bottlenecks that we tried to address already today. Um, one of the things that we heard were, of course, um, yes, maybe barbecue is a bit a loaded term. Um, so we should go beyond uh, broadwurst. Um, so we heard that we're going to rethink. Of course, we don't want to add another 100 bucks for the ticket just for a nice, very wide barbecue. So we'll, we'll discuss a few options and see what would be the best one. But um, has been noted. Thank you. And this Second one, one. This one we already touched upon, I guess. Uh, I think Kenneth explained this well. Again, really appreciate that uh, we found solutions very quickly, and I really appreciate your flexibility. Groups formed and uh, moved around. But yes, that's a lesson learned that we're going to work on for next time. We'll probably have an exclusive space in some form and make sure that you can enjoy your high variety of uh, grilled goods uh, in, in peace. Absolutely. And I think we haven't mentioned the beer yesterday as well, right? Because um, I think it's not here. Um, so... Yes, of course, a few people were really giving me a heart attack when they came and said, there's no more beer, as I'm kind of after one hour, because that A meant that our cap would probably have been already over, um, which would be not really surprising, but still shocking. Um, and for an event location like Kaufleut, it would be really surprising. So, of course, there were still beer. Uh, it was just a little, let's say, miscommunication. Um, they, yeah looked at the wrong queue, uh, but we solved it, so there were still beers coming afterwards. Uh, but thanks for giving me a heart attack, yeah. And speaking of queues, um, I really like this one because we try to be open to feedback and to address it, if we can, in this form here, so you, you know that we hear you. Um, so one thing that didn't go really well yesterday is we had a really, really long queue for lunch, uh, so we, we talked to people and we got a second queue today already. I think that went better, I guess. Yes. So, um, yeah. Again, thanks to Carl Floyden for actually working with us and listening to us and figuring these things out. Absolutely. <laughs> and yes, we, we I think Stefan already mentioned, um, okay, so there is the beer there as well. So, yes, um, it was, let's say, a shortage. I wouldn't call it an apocalypse, uh, hopefully. Um, but, yes, um, I think the quote we heard was, we'd never seen Mate being drunk, as in given away that fast. Uh, so they were literally thinking that one fridge would be enough for two days. Um, yeah, ca kind of... We, we told them probably not, um, and yes, of course, um, it went by quickly because we knew that from previous uh, Area 41 conferences. Uh, next one, yeah. Yeah, I think that one is a good one as well. Um, I, okay, I, I get that. I, uh, I too like our electronic batches. I was talking to some folks earlier. 
I think we had the first electronic batch with the color display. We were featured on the Hacker News Network about 10 years ago for this one. Uh, we had, thank you, one person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fishing for applause for stuff we did 10 years ago. <laughs> But yes, uh, electronic batches are awesome. We did a bunch of really cool, uh, cool ones of those. I mean, Candid did mostly, and Adrian as well. Uh, I, I didn't, but I really liked them. Um, but this year, much like the first time we did Area 41, those of you who have come here for a while know that we had the challenge coins once before, and that's when we significantly grew in size, which added a lot of challenges for us. And this year was a bit similar. Uh, First of all, doing the conference again after such a long time, I mean, maybe we got a bit rusty on some parts, but more than anything else, um, there were a lot of uncertainties. Can we actually do it in 2022? We had to cancel it twice before. Um, how many people are going to be comfortable coming out? How is this going to affect our like, turnout in terms of tickets, right? Are sponsors going to pull out? And electronic batches, not really on the cheap side. Also, electronic batches need components, which usually get shipped from China, and supply chain issues are fairly prominent for those. So we had to pick between a safe option that, sorry, still looks pretty cool, or a cool option that may have resulted in us all having paper batches. Uh, we took that, we made that call, we went for the safe one. Maybe for a future one, we'll go back to electronic batches. We would certainly like to. <laughs> but at least the coins don't run off battery, so. <laughs> at least for once, we didn't have to flash all the batches the night before because we would have messed it up again, probably like last time. But yes, uh, you mentioned supply chain. And yeah, there were some questions about the t-shirts, um, right? Like the polo shirts. Yes, it's hard to get all the different sizes. We actually do have a few more t-shirts which are somewhere. Um, apparently they are still en route for the last four weeks. Um, we're not really sure when they will arrive, but um, we'll make sure that we can either deliver them through the different bots or keep them for the next conferences. And I think for the polo shorts, we're also going to have them at, at the bots again or in some online shop form. Absolutely. At some point. And yeah, on the bright side, uh, we mentioned we have a Tesla dealership uh, next door, and there were some updates on that recent, you know, key duplication thing. Uh, I, I know somebody who works there, and they told me that all the Teslas are still there, that they, but that they were mildly unsettled by this event being so close. <laughs> so, so thanks for not stealing the cars, I guess. <laughs> Or at least for putting them back. Yes, thanks. Well, and I guess in the end, of course, it's also about, as I mentioned, all the helpers. Um, well, Mr. Cooper, who's doing a fantastic job with the videos um, as well. <laughs> Spending his free time and not getting paid either. Um, but... His choice, not ours, um, I have to say. Um, and, of course, Kaufleuten, right? Yeah. I mean, I mentioned repeatedly, but specifically Nada, who was our event coordinator for the past three years almost now, and helped us to like get this event actually done in the end. It was amazing. Uh, Timo and Chrissy from Invasion did a fantastic job getting us uh, lit up in the right way and having a sound work here. So thank you very much. Thank you, Nada, if you thank were you. around. Amazing. And, and of course, the entire catering crew, all of that, uh, all those people that have been working behind the stages from Kaufleuten as well, as well as with our helpers, where we already gave them applause, but it's worth mentioning again. And last but not least, you want to do the honors? Well, everyone here in the room and those who probably already left, so... All you, as in supporting, buying the tickets. Uh, so we have been sold out again. We had, uh, well, planned for 350. In the end, it was 365. Um, because, yes, some, some of my mess ups, I guess, with the sponsors. But uh, thanks very much uh, for coming and supporting us uh, once again. And I guess with that, 
it's unfortunately one of the last ones. So thanks and uh, goodbye. So thanks for coming. Oh, may, may, maybe one more thing, Stefan. Do you want to mention something? Oh, this is a slide that we added so people stop and just yes, exactly. stay for a yeah. bit. Didn't you do something? There was a question that was asked over and over again. And this is going to be a disappointing slide for many of you because we just don't know yet. But we'll figure it out. Thank you all for coming. Thanks. Have a great way home.